Yo, welcome back, Factory Fam, to another episode of Factory Fiction. Today, I got my boy Caleb with me. What's up? What's up? He's gonna help me do a little project. I think we're gonna go ahead and reorganize and clean out the garage, and then I think we're gonna ceramic coat the wheels. Today on Factory Fiction. All right, guys, so we we got pretty much everything from the flex inside the garage here. Um, and it's kind of, I mean, it's, it's kind of organized. It's just not as organized as I need. Plus, I'm trying to ceramic coat the wheels before I go and get the tires mounted on them so that we don't have to worry about that again. They'll clean up really nice. Like, I've had... I've wanted to ceramic coat my wheels for a while, but I was waiting to do it for these wheels. So we're gonna try to do it, but they're way in the back. So they're over here, they're these boxes. So we're basically gonna, I'm gonna move Angie's Mini. We are going to pull everything out into the driveway here, reorganize it, get the wheels out, put everything back in a more organized way because a lot of this stuff has to be ready to like go to craft it anyway. What do you think, man? We got it? Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up. So, all right, guys. I'm going to move the car. We're going to start pulling stuff out. That's how we're going to do it. Alright guys, so we pretty much got everything out of the garage. As you can see here, we got kind of, it's not super organized yet, it's generally, here's all the seats over here. Um, front bumper, I gotta bring the rear bumper out. Carpet, bunch of trim, grill pieces. We gotta kind of reorganize a little better. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and sweep out the garage. Get it nice and clean. We did get the wheels out though. They're sitting over here. So. Our plan is to kind of reorganize all this stuff, put it back after we sweep everything out. There's one right there. And then we will get onto the wheels, we'll take them inside, we'll do the ceramic coating. That's the plan. All right, let's sweep. Boy. 
All right, guys, so we definitely got the garage all nice and clean. Um, has it been, oh. All right, super clean. Laid on the movie blanket out. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving stuff back in, but I kind of want to move it back in in the order that it's got to leave. So um, the next thing that's leaving here should be everything else that's going to craft it. So we got these five seats. We obviously have to leave the driver's seat in because we have to drive that. Um, these five seats, the dash, which um, a lot of this stuff is actually getting bedliner. Um, and we're gonna actually bedliner this portion, which we weren't sure if we were gonna be able to do that just cause um, you have to pull the dash to get that piece off. But that piece feeds into the door panels. So I don't know if you can, if you can see this here, but like right here where that curve is, that actually matches right up with the front door panels right here. So because we're doing uh, the majority of what's left of the door panels in bed liner, we wanted like that to be cohesive and run around the front of the dash, which is totally what we're still gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna try to pop that off, but we're gonna get everything organized to go back. So I'm gonna put the seats and the dash in up front here, um, get the rest of the stuff for crafted and put that all together. All right guys, so I moved the dash. I got some seats in there. Um, but I moved the dash, I flipped it upside down. And to get that front spot off, it's literally just pinch clips. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm gonna grab a little pliers. We're gonna pop those bad boys off. Um, put that front part in the bed liner pile. And then we'll put the, ah, tripod's acting funny here. In the wrong way. There we go. All right. Then we'll put this in the bed liner pile, put the dash in the crafting pile, and we'll be good to go. All right. All right. So these are the pinch clips. We're trying to get that piece off so that we can bed liner that part, okay? So what we're going to do is why we call them pinch clips is you just pinch them and shove, okay? So I literally take it, pinch it, because they expand when you put them on. So that's why you uh, pinch and shove. Ah! See? Pinch and shove. Yeah. Okay, so here, right here. Here, pinch it and shove. Here, let's try going up a little more. Like here. Okay. Okay. So, right here. So, shove down. Shove on it. Yep, here. Just, just shove on my hand. Okay. Popping. All right, we're almost done here. Shove. There you go. You got that last one? Do it. Yep, do it. It's probably that one, too, honestly. Yep. Choke up a little bit more. Bring it up a little more. Yep. Right there, you got it. Yep. Pinch and shove. You're too low still. So you just gotta pinch up a little bit. Here. Here. Right up. Ah. Hey, move your hand, I can't see. Alright, right there. Pinch really hard and push. There you go. Hey, see? There it is. That's all, okay? Okay. Sweet. All right, so. Why'd you bring those out? Huh? Why'd you bring these? Um, in case we needed to pry on it a little bit, we used that trusty pry tool, but we got it off, guys. So there's more pinch clips. There's actually, so seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there's 14, uh, seven and seven. I already had the others loose though. So she came right off. So this can go in that pile over there. Actually, you can go with this stuff here. That? Yep, you move that there. All right, so then we'll flip this bad boy over again. And this is the portion that Crafted's gonna cover, okay? So not huge, just this, this stuff, 
right? So we'll pop these off. We're trying to play around with carbon. You can put those over there. Hey, they gotta go um, over there, okay? On the blanket. All right guys, so that's how that came apart. If you want to afford flex and you want to do something like this, which I mean, I understand the likelihood of that is very low. Um, that's how you do it. It's all about the details, y'all. You gotta do the details. All right. All right, we're gonna go through. I think I got everything that Crafted needs. Um, we're gonna go through and take a look though, just to make sure we're not missing anything. So, carpet, uh, spare tire well carpet, cover, um, under bumper stuff, grills. These are all for paint. Maybe those, I'm gonna take those with and see what they think. Grill pieces, um, those that have to go with. Let's go with this guy and this guy. Have to go with. We gotta see what Jordan and Scotty think about those. Those are the lower part of the dash, so we gotta see what they think about if they wanna cover those, or they probably should do those in bed liner. Um, this is this is my crazy giant pile of bed liner. Um, I, I hope I got enough. I think that we did. I honestly. I watched B is for Builds video when he covered the whole FJ Cruiser. Um, he ordered, um, he ordered 12, 12 bottles of, um, the black Raptor liner, which I ordered, um, I ordered six and he ended up using five to do his whole out exterior of the FJ. So I think I'm going to be okay with six. I'm really hoping, but it's this stuff, some of this stuff. Uh, and that's it. So um, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how that goes. I'm gonna try to spray all this stuff. Um, Angie and the kids are going to see Angie's parents, and um, and Angie has a work thing back back home in Indiana. So um, actually in Michigan. Anyways, um, they're gonna be gone for a week. So I'm gonna try to uh, get this stuff to crafted, empty the rest of the garage, um, probably put everything else in the little out outside shed we have just to chill, and then I'm gonna try to uh, plast plastic off the whole garage and then spray bed liner in there. So uh, we'll see. So we're gonna keep putting everything back in and then we'll get back to the wheels, I promise, okay? We, that's the main part of the video today, but you know, this is part of the process, you guys. This is, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life to build this car and you know, I think it's going to be worth it. It's a lot of hard work. What do people constantly say? If it was easy, everyone would do it. And it really rings true to me. But I'll tell you what, I struggle with a lot of self-doubt and um, questioning myself and what I'm doing and why I'm doing. But, you know, stay true to yourself. It's really important, you guys. Build your car for you. I know I say that almost at the end of every video, but really, man, just do it for you. And, you know, I know she don't look like nothing much. But, gosh, is she? Also, I don't know if I'll have them sold by the time I post this video, but I need to sell these. These are like brand new 18-inch Explorer Sport wheels with brand new Michelin tires on them. So, anyway, I'm going to get everything back here. I promise, I promise we will get to the wheels. Caleb's going to help me. He's hanging on a tree like a monkey. So, all right, let's get everything back in here. All right guys, so we're back. We pretty much got everything pretty well organized. Um, here we got the crafted pile. Um, kind of some miscellaneous stuff, uh, spare tire, which won't work anymore. Um, some of this stuff is for paint. I just didn't want to put it on the big ground. I don't want to scratch and mess up anything up. But the rest of that pile is all bed liner, which there's a lot to do. But like I said, we're gonna try to go drop this stuff off at crafted within the next week sometime. Um, then we'll kind of have an open area in here. The bumpers, like I said, we can just throw them back out in the outdoor part of the shed garage here. Um, and then we'll start prepping this stuff. So, um, yeah, but there's the bumpers. We will at some point have to deal with the bumper support. We'll have to put it on the car. Um, 
kind of trim it some places. Overall, it fits pretty well for mashing two bumpers together that didn't belong together. Like I think it looks great. So um, front bumper, obviously. Um, but yeah, looks way better, you guys. It was crazy. Barely a path through. So um, yeah, let's get on to the ceramic coating of the wheels. All right, guys. So we're inside. We watched a couple application videos for the ceramic coating. Um, I'm not too worried about it. It's just the wheels. I just want to make sure these things are coated so that they clean up really easily. So <clears throat> we got one wheel out here so far. Um, we're going to unbox the rest. We're going to lay them out. We're going to start with the barrels and then we'll flip them over and uh, do the faces. So Caleb's grabbing my tripod really quick out in the garage and we're going to set it up and then we'll get to work. So I ran out to the garage, I grabbed my isopropyl alcohol here. We're just going to go ahead and spray it on the microfiber, wipe the barrels down quick. They are brand new wheels, so I'm absolutely not concerned about uh, them having any wax or contaminants on them. But we're just going to give them a nice wipe down and make sure they're all clean before we go ahead and uh, use the ceramic on them. Right, guys we're gonna get into the ceramic um, so I have my little applicator pad and the little cloths that go over it um, I'm gonna try to double use these so I'm gonna wrap them like that um, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the coating on oh, a little cap and so it says basically to see where I'm at, to apply a strip. All right, guys. So we got a nice little line of the coating on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start coating the barrels. So that's pretty much the application on the first wheel. Um, Caleb's working on um, cleaning up the rest of the wheels with the isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to just follow him and I'm going to go this one, this one, this one. And then we're going to come back through and we're going to wipe them down. So we'll go ahead and do a time lapse of me and this guy putting in some work on these wheels. And then we'll get back to you when we're done. Okay guys, round one is over. Um, I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna wipe them down quick with the microfiber and then 
Me and Caleb are gonna flip them all over. We're gonna make sure the faces are all nice and clean and then just repeat the process. All right guys, so it totally slipped my mind that when I originally planned to do this, I was also gonna do the, the, sorry. I was also gonna do the Brembo calibers because those are already painted and finished. So um, I'm gonna clean these and then coat them. And then I'll go in the office, uh, grab the calipers, and then we'll do those quick too. So you can see literally right here there's a little crevice and then these actually step down the spokes step down so I was trying really hard to get into those um, I think it did look great but man wheels look great all right so now we're gonna mess with now we're gonna mess with um, the big brakes here we're gonna get those coated So we got those cleaned up. I got the coating. Here, check. I told you guys I was gonna show you. Look how my look how my little splendid guys like falling apart in there. It's crazy. Anyway, it'll be fine for this. This is the last thing we have to. We're gonna go ahead and coat. Um, just wanna make sure we we get these guys nice and coated, so they stay nice and. Nice and clean looking, so then we can just hose them off during show season. That would be so nice. I keep saying show season. I don't, like, I'm worried about just daily cleaning. Like, because you guys know, um, this is my daily driven car. This isn't this isn't a trailer queen. This isn't a uh, only for shows. Um, I know a lot of builds are. That's not that's not our style. Um, I'm also a sneakerhead for those of you who didn't know, but I buy shoes to wear them. Um, I do have a couple of pairs of shoes I'm trying to get rid of, and the only reason I haven't worn them is because I didn't foresee myself wearing them all the time. So I've tried to keep them mint so that I, uh, 
I can get rid of them. Somebody else can enjoy them. And I think that's, that's a better route for that. Yeah. All right, guys. I went ahead and I got all the wheels wiped down. I'm gonna try to wipe these down super quick. I'm really running out of time here. I gotta go pick up Angie. Um, kids are playing, trying to get it done. Um, and honestly, like all the all the instructions for these these things suck. They're terrible. Um, I'm honestly feeling a little overwhelmed. I'm like I'm never gonna sugarcoat it for you guys. Like you all always know how I'm feeling about stuff. Like I said, I got difficulties every couple of days feeling that what am I doing kind of self-doubt and that kind of stuff and man just stay positive I'm trying to trying to work on these things and make sure they're gonna gonna be good I just want them ready to be installed and then not have to mess with them again but I'm sure at some point we'll have to take the wheels off and recoat things and do things differently but I just do not have time for any of that right now so we're just doing the best that we can we'll let these sit after we wipe them down good and hopefully we're getting enough of the coating back off I, you know whatever so Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, here's everything, all the calipers, the wheels, they're all done. Honestly, I have no idea if I did a good job or not. Um, they all look pretty good. I think either way they're going to be good enough to get them mounted up. Um, if I did something wrong, I can talk to somebody we can reassess later before show season after it gets painted stuff like that but i just really needed to get this done before we needed to get everything mounted up just so everything's pretty much protected but there we go so here's hoping uh as always build your car for you not for somebody else stay positive at factory fiction we are modified culture so do it for the culture man be cool with everybody remember do it do it all the time all right, we'll see you on the next episode of Factory Fiction. Have a great day. Peace.